How did you decide to stay the course? Well, I, you know, I worked here in New York City after college uh, in production. I was a location <coughs> scout, and that was how I made a, a decent living. Uh, but I had started working. Uh, MTV Celebrity Deathmatch was the first acting job I ever had. So uh, from that point, I always had a, a curiosity about, like, well, I wonder what this would look like if it went further. And fast forward to the housing market collapsing mm. in 2008. I had booked a few other jobs. I started booking television, and I thought, okay, well, this is an opportunity to see if I can actually make this work. So I moved to L.A., and oh. for eight years, uh, I didn't have the safety of the job that I left in New York. It's a different, different uh, unions and all sorts of uh, complications to do the same thing in L.A., but that's not what I was going to L.A. for. So I had to do all these other jobs, these side jobs. I drove rideshare. I, I uh, worked in catering, all these oh. things that I'd never done before. And gotten to the point where I was broke, I was out of money, I was out of food, I was out of even government assistance for food. Mm. And the only thing I hadn't done at that point was the thing that was left to do, which was to get on my knees and surrender my entire life yeah. and my career. <laughs> and everything that I had up to that point over to God because there wasn't anything I realized I could do on my own. Were you a believer before that? Yeah, oh. yeah, I was raised with the faith from a child, but it really wasn't until after that moment, um, it was about almost six years ago now, where I just said, Jesus, I surrender myself to you, take care of everything, and that day I received this incomprehensible financial miracle that changed my life, and then three months later I booked The Chosen. Wow. Wow.